how to set up a basic lens for web application that extracts data from a receipt. We'll start with your authentication credentials. You can get them by signing into the API portal like so, clicking on settings, keys, and here you'll find your client ID, username, and API key you'll need to use Verify Lens. Uh, the method we'll be going over for a lens for web is uh, WASM, which is recommended. That's because it's fast, accurate, and we process the frames on a client. But it does require some extra steps to install and use, which we'll go over now. One thing you need is Node.js. Next, you want to download the Verify Lens WASM package from the GitHub. And if you're doing this uh, without bundlers, you're going to want to move that into the projects folder. So that's what we're doing. We also have a demo for vanilla JavaScript, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and download the package off the GitHub and add it to our project. All right, so I set up a basic project. I already dragged in the Verify Lens WASM folder here, but this just contains three files. We have the index.html, uh, pretty basic. We just have a tag to include the uh, JavaScript, and also we have an empty index.js and server file. The next thing to do is copy the WASM directory from the SDK folder to the root of the project next to our index.html. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to copy the WASM folder, and then we're going to paste it in next to the index.html. The next thing we do is we add a div with the ID verify container, and this will be populated uh, with the lens view once we initialize it. So for the container, we're just going to paste it in, and then we're going to save it. That about covers it for the installation step, so now we'll move on to setup. For project setup, it's pretty simple, but all you really need to do is copy the server code into our server.js. This is just a basic node.js server. It really just has a single request listener where we redirect to the index.html, and that's really about it. You can just copy and paste the server code into your server.js file. Next is initialization. So we've done these two steps. Now we have to import the SDK to our index.js. So we can copy that line. We will go to our index. We will paste it. And now we have to set our processing URL and our credentials from authentication. So this is the URL where we'll send our documents in addition to our access keys. And then we need a function to validate the client and receive our session token. This is something we need to pass to initialize lens, so copy that. And now we call it and set it in addition to our device data. That's something else we need to send to process our image on the back end. So copy that and we should be good to go. Now we're ready to launch lens using our session token and client ID. So the way we're going to do it for WASM is that we're going to call the verify lens init WASM function. So what that does is it launches the camera and it shows us that lens view where we can capture the receipt. And then the moment you're ready to actually take that photo of the receipt, you would call the verify lens capture WASM function. I'll do a bit more setup than just copying that. So I'll do that now and show you when I'm done. So what I've added is this lens image element. This will be the preview area. So once we actually capture the picture, it will show up there. And I also added this capture WASM button. And when it's clicked, it will trigger the capture WASM function. So here's what it looks like in the JavaScript. Uh, right now, I just added this code block starting with this image variable. This is where we'll be keeping that image data once we trigger the capture WASM function. And for that function, when we trigger it, it gets the lens image preview, uh, triggers capture WASM and saves the image data there. And then we just set that image preview to be the image data. And once all that's done, we want to go ahead and hide the verify lens container and also the capture button. The other thing I added is this init WASM function at the bottom. So all it does is the moment we navigate to the page, it will launch lens. So let's see what that looks like. So here we have the camera view, and you can see when I hold up a receipt, a green box is following it. Uh, so this is Verify Lens. And once I click Capture, you can see it's auto-cropped and also auto-rotated the receipt. So it was at a bit of an angle before, but now it's not. It's also its best to correct any skew on the camera. So now we move on to the actual usage. 
So this is what the flow generally looks like, uh, however you use lens. The way it works is we first initialize lens like we've done, and then we captured an image. And so once we actually capture that data, here's how we submit it. Uh, this is all done through a process image function. This is something you can use, but all it really does is it makes a simple post request to the process document URL. Uh, it uses these arguments. So we have a header, uh, we have a body, where we pass the image data, and also our username, API key, and client ID, and also that device data that we got earlier. We also have project samples, but for now, let's take a look at the code. So the first thing I added is the submit button. On click, we submit the image. Uh, it starts off hidden, and then I reveal it once we actually capture the image. The next thing I added is the JSON text box. That's where we'll display the formatted JSON result once we submit for processing. So let's take a look at the JavaScript. I added something to show the submit button once we click the capture button. And then I also added the process image function from the documentation. And I also have the submit image function. So what, what this does is when we push it, we hide the image preview and we hide the submit button. And then we call the process image function and we get the response. And then once we get a response, we go ahead and set the JSON text to be the formatted response so we can really see the data we get back from our document. So let's see a demo. So as you can see, we have our receipt, the green bounded box is following it, we hit capture, it does the auto cropping and fixing orientation, and then we submit it. As of now, our document's being processed. And JSON data pops up here. So it was very quick. This is all the information we extracted from that receipt. So we have stuff like the date field, uh, the various line items that show up on the receipt. It's part of meals entertainment category. We have a description and we also have the total cost. Uh, there are a lot more fields in addition to that. You can kind of pause and take a look, but we also have stuff like the finance information. So total, uh, we also have our tax information. We also have vendor information. So for example, a vendor address, vendor name, but that's generally how you get started using Verify Lens or browser. Thanks for watching.